So hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So on today's show, I'm going to show you how to wash your car without touching it. So no more swirls, no more scratches, and everything's done in four simple steps. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day. So today I'm gonna show you how to wash your car without touching it. So I've been detailing cars for over 20 years now, and I can tell you through my experience that over 90% of the swirl marks and the scratches that you see on your paint come from when you're washing or drying your car. So today I'm gonna give you and show you four easy steps on how you can wash your car without touching it, and that way we're gonna minimize the chances of getting swirl marks or scratches. So it's important to note that this technique is to be used on cars that are well-maintained, so cars that are often washed, or that are very lightly or to medium levels of dirt. So like on my 2018 BMW M550i that I take care of a lot. So this car is often washed once or twice weekly. So this technique is not to be used on heavily soiled cars or if you're coming back from a rally with lots of dirt or lots of mud. So the technique is quite simple and it's in four easy steps. So step number one, we're gonna rinse the vehicle with the pressure washer. Step number two, we're going to foam the vehicle with a snow foam. Step number three, we're going to rinse that off. And step number four, we're going to dry the vehicle. So this is very quickly done. So you can do the entire vehicle in roughly 15 to 20 minutes. And the good thing about it is you're not even touching the paint. So you don't have to break out your buckets and your wash mitts and a bunch of other stuff and products and equipment. It's very simple. So a couple of quick pro tips for you before we start. Make sure that you work in a shaded area or in a garage if possible. Possible. If you're to work outside, choose a cloudy day or work towards the end of the day or at the very beginning of the day before the sun is at its brightest at around noon. Because when that happens, well, your products are going to dry way too quickly on the paint. You're going to get water spotting issues and it's not going to be a fun and enjoyable experience. By the way, guys, if you want to learn more about car detailing, you found the right channel. So from the beginner to the DIY enthusiast all the way up to the professional, I have tons of videos and tutorials for you. So from washing your car inside and out, all the way up to advanced techniques like paint polishing and applying waxes, paint sealants, and also ceramic coatings. I got you guys covered. I even do product reviews and also equipment testing. So make sure you check and browse all my videos later. So the equipment that you'll need to do the job is actually very simple. And to make it simple for you, I made sure to include the links to all the products and equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. And I also included some cheaper alternatives to the equipment or products that I use to make it very easy and cost effective for you guys. So first of all, you're going to need a quality pressure washer. So my unit here is a Kranzler 1122 TST from Germany, but there are also very good brands out there that are less expensive, such as Karcher, Sanjo, so on and so forth. Then you're going to need a foam cannon. So this is the item in which you're going to put your foaming solution to spray onto the vehicle. So in this case, my high-end version is the MTM PF22, but you can also get some cheaper alternatives that also do a great job, like this Trinova foam cannon. To put in the foam cannon, you're going to need your snow foam. So that's a soap that's been specifically formulated for using for, to be used as a pre-wash. So for example, we have Chemical Guys Honeydew, very good one. We have Adam's Car Shampoo. So this is essentially a car shampoo for your normal washing, but can also be used as a foaming pre-wash snow foam. And on the higher end of the scale, we have Griot's Garage Foaming Surface Wash. Now, the particularity of these three foamers are that they are pH neutral, so they can be used outside in direct sunlight. Of course, as always, make sure you try to work in the shade or in a garage as much as possible. But if you do work outside, at least these guys will not be leaving any water spotting on your vehicle. So if you do get water spots, that's because you have hard water or you let the water dry too long on your paint. But these products, again, are pH neutral, so they're, they're safe on waxes, paint sealants, and also ceramic coatings, and they do a very good job. So once you're done, uh, foaming the car and then you're done rinsing it, you're going to need a car dryer or a cheaper alternative is a leaf blower if you guys have one. So I have the big boy here. This is the Metrovac Master Blaster Revolution. It comes with a very long 30 foot hose. So as the name states, this is a car dryer. Uh, twin engines in there, peak eight horsepower, so very, very powerful. So you can dry anything from paint to glass to plastic trim, remove any water that's in your mirrors, in your door sills, door jams, in the grills, on your wheels and tires. This will do a great job and again, prevent you from having to touch the car to dry it. 
A smaller brother to this one, if you don't want to spend the extra money, is the Blaster Sidekick. So again, from Metrovac, this is the portable version. It's meant to be used as a motorcycle dryer, but uh, you can also use this as a car dryer. You just have to work a bit quicker to make sure the water doesn't dry on your paint, but it's also very good. Both units come with rubberized tips, so they won't damage the paint if you accidentally touch it. So they're a very good means of drying the vehicle very quickly without touching it. All right, so enough with the talking and let's get started. All right, so let's start by assessing the state of the paint. As you can see, lots of bugs and bug guts on the front bumper. The wheels and tires are dirty thanks to brake dust. Uh, the paintwork is actually dirty. It's been through a couple of rainy days. You can see on the mirrors here, more bugs and bug guts. The uh, door sills and side skirts, they're all pretty dirty. And the back bumper, lots of water spotting there. So step number one is to thoroughly rinse the vehicle using a pressure washer. Anything between 1,000 to 2,000 PSI is very safe for use on vehicles. Work from top to bottom, and this step will help to remove pretty much 80 to 85% of the loose dirt and contaminants. Step number two is to foam the vehicle with a snow foam and a foam cannon. Inside the foam cannon, I typically add one to two ounces of soap with 18 ounces of water for a one to 10 dilution ratio, but check your label to make sure you have the proper dilution ratios. I let the snow foam dwell for roughly five to 10 minutes, never apply indirect sunlight. And as you can see, the uh, snow foam helps to encapsulate and lift the loose dirt and contaminants off the surface and onto the ground, flushing it away. Step number three, is to rinse the vehicle thoroughly once again. So once your snow foam has had enough time to dwell and uh, to do its cleaning action, where you go ahead and you rinse from top to bottom, revealing a nice finish. And the uh, next step, so step number four, is going to be to dry the vehicle. So in this case, I'm using the uh, car dryer, but you can also use a leaf blower. So that's a, least expen a less expensive alternative. So essentially you're not touching the vehicle. Always wear protective earmuffs because uh, these things tend to get pretty loud. Or if you have noise canceling headphones and you're listening to music, that's fine as well. So in a couple of minutes, you'll have dried your entire vehicle and it's gonna be uh, ready to, to present the, uh, the final results. So it helps to dry the car even quicker if your paint is protected by a wax, a paint sealant, or like in my case, a ceramic coating, because water beads off and sheets off extremely quickly. Now, another pro tip, you all know that you get rusty uh, rotors or brake discs once you're done washing your car. So the trick to alleviate this issue is to drive back and forth a couple of times in your driveway while lightly applying the brakes. And uh, that's pretty much it. You're done. No more brake dust or surface rust on your discs. So we can look at the final results here. As you can tell, no more bugs or bug guts. The uh, paint is nice and shiny again. I say it's 90 to 95% clean. As you can tell, there are no water spots. Um, there are no streaking or no residues and the results are stunning. <music> the video if that's the case smash the thumbs up button to show me your support also if you want to continue to learn more about car detailing so products equipment tips tricks and techniques make sure you hit the subscribe button that's found under this video and that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos so guys thanks for being there thanks for watching and in the meantime don't forget keep it tight keep it clean and i'll see you guys on the next one